on August 16, 2015, there was a writer named Robert Brooks stated that somewhere behind the space in time, weather, water, slime, or slime. So you should listen to me because slime is a great stress relieving substances and can sharpen and sharpen to their creativity while they're making it. So that was Larry Katie told us and she is from Mother Nature Network on 2015. So nowadays, uh, mothers are really worried about what their children are playing with because there are so many harmful and dangerous things right now. So I suggest you introduce slime to your children because slime is the safest tools and games that they can children play with. So today I will demonstrate to you how to make a slime without the bricks because bricks is a harmful chemical and it was really bad for children to play with so I didn't suggest it at all. So there are three important things that you should know before you're making slime. The first one is to choose the proper tools and the ingredients for making slime and the second one is the easiest steps to making slime and the third one how can you play with the slime rather than you just poke into it. So now I will tell you the proper tools and the ingredients. You will need the container, any size of container is doesn't really mind and then you will need the spatula and the spoon and you also need for the ingredients you will need a glue such as Elmer's brand because most of the school glues doesn't have the correct composition for making slime. And the Elm's brand also works perfectly fine with any slime activator, so I suggest to use this kind of glue. And you will need the contact lens solution, and also you will need the baking soda. Baking soda is the easiest stuff that you can look at the most of the grocery stores, so you don't have to worry at all. And this is optional. The food color and the, and the glitter was optional if you want to make your slime look eye-catching and creative and fun to play with, as I guess you to use this. And then you all know all the ingredients and the tools. Now I will demonstrate you how to make the slime. The first one, I will pour all the four fluid of glue into the container. I will put it all until it's done. Then you will, so right now I will make my slimes look more creative and eye-catching. I will put some drops of my food coloring. I put only two and three drops because I want to make it look pink. Then I will also put the glitter. So you can put glitter as you need it. And then you just stir it until it's blend perfectly and make sure the food coloring is also blends perfectly with the glitter. So for the glitter, I suggest you to use the glitter powder because it will easiest to mix with the glue. So right now the food coloring and the glitter were already blend perfectly and I will put one tablespoon of baking soda. So for the baking soda, make sure you mix it and blend it with the glue perfectly because you don't want to the baking soda to form into a ball of baking soda with the glue. So after you're done, you will put two tablespoons of contact lens solution. And then you just mix it over again. So if your slimes look particularly slimy, I suggest you to put half tablespoon until one tablespoon of the contact lens solution. So right now you just mix it over again until it forms the slime. And then I suggest to work between your two hands until it's smooth. Right now my slime is so slimy, I will add a little bit more of the contact lens solution. So it just works between your two hands until all the contact lens solution and the glue were already mixed up perfectly. So right now this is what your slime will look like and then 
There are several ways for you to play with your slime. The first one is you can make the scented slime. You can use the scented food coloring or use any essential oils that you like. So I will use the eucalyptus essential oils and I will put only three drops into it. Because I don't want to make it smells really strong. So you just play with your hand until the smells blend it with the slime. <coughs> So right now my slime smells like eucalyptus and there is other ways too if you want to play something like a games or anything with your children so I will sprinkle all the confetti into the slime and then right now you just mix it in and you can make a challenge with your children like whoever find the most confetti in the slime is the winner. So right now, I had taught you how to make a slime without the borax and I had taught you about the proper tools and the ingredients and the easiest steps. I hope you go home and spend your time with your children for the making slime. Thank you.